why won't your home battery work in an outage? Hey everyone, if your home battery doesn't keep your lights on when the grid goes down, what's the point? That's exactly what happened to my friend Ash in San Jose. That's before his battery backup system was properly set. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to avoid the same mistake and ensure your home battery works during a power outage. A few weeks ago, my friend Ash called me furious. He just bought a shiny new home battery and when the power cut out, it did absolutely nothing. He was stuck in the dark. He was watching Better Call Saul and Saul faded away mid-sentence. He screamed, I thought this was backup power. That's when he realized that not all home batteries are wired for backup. Many installs, especially in California and Texas, are set up for self-consumption only. So what's the difference between self-consumption and backup mode? Self-consumption is the mode in which your batteries are programmed to charge during off-peak hours and then discharge during peak hours, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Why? To save you money. They are not programmed to power your home during an outage at all. In the backup mode, your battery is wired with a gateway and that enables it to power your house during a blackout. So why do self-consumption batteries shut off anyway? Well, here's the actual technical in and out. They have to abide by something known as rapid shutdown. All grid-tight solar as well as batteries shut up instantly during an outage. This is to keep utility workers safe from backfeeding power from your batteries or solar panels. Without a gateway, they can't isolate your home from the grid. So they stayed offline. The hero really is the gateway. The gateway is sometimes called a switch. A gate, backup switch, gateway three. It monitors the grid and detects outages. And within milliseconds, it isolates your home and it lets your solar panels and battery continue to safely power your home and circuits. Tesla offers a backup switch it's a meter caller, and they have a larger option called the Gateway 3. Franklin Power uses something known as the A-Gate. The Gateway has some other benefits too. Besides powering your lights, the Gateway enables integration with the generator, so you can recharge your battery when solar isn't enough. The Gateway allows a connection to your EV charger, so future-proof your solar for when you get an EV. It also allows smart circuit and load management. It allows you to shed heavy loads like your AC or electric range automatically during outages so that your battery lasts longer. So don't be like Ash. Before you buy your home battery, always ask, is it backup enabled with a gateway? Can it isolate the grid? Can it power your home during outages? Does it support generators? What about EV charging? Smart load management. Now, if your installer doesn't mention any of these, steer clear. They likely don't even include the gateway in the install. So here's what you need to remember. Not all home batteries support blackout backup. You must request a gateway or a backup switch prior to your installation. Only this setup will install that both your solar and battery backup actually work when the power goes up. The gateway also equals generator support, EV charging, and load control. So that's it, folks. You now know what it means to have a battery which will work during an outage. I hope you like this video. You might like my video comparing the best batteries available today. Till the next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you around.